I'm telling you now, you need this tracking app. This is the best tracking app and I guarantee it's probably one that you have not seen yet on the app store. I've honestly learned so much about my hormones since starting this app and I'd just recommend it to everyone, although not boys, that would be weird. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Madison Don't and here on this channel I teach you the science behind health so that you can understand your body and learn to heal naturally. In today's video I'm going to share with you my all-time favorite tracking app for 2020. Now I did make a very similar video about a year ago and that was my favorite tracking app of 2019 but about six months ago, actually no, gosh it's August already, at the start of this year, I came across this new app and it has absolutely changed the way that I look at my cycle, changed the way that I track everything and has just really given me so much information on my hormones and where my body is at every single day of the month. So you all need to get on this tracking app. It is the best one out there. It is actually called something that you probably wouldn't have found on the app store so I highly recommend that you stick around and yeah this might just change your life so the app is free it does have a premium version as well but it is free for the majority of features and my well first of all it's called Kindara so something I absolutely love about this app is that it is subtle so it doesn't look like a period app it's not all pink and girly it doesn't have like a blood stain on the icon it is just subtle it's blue no one would even guess that it is a period tracker which is why I usually leave it on the front home page of my phone because then when I wake up it's super easy to find and track everything and I'm never forgetting about it so my favorite thing about this app is the graphing feature which I will show you now so what it allows you to do is actually graph what your body is doing. I really like that it's not in a clunky log day to day. It actually graphs it on a linear scale so that you can see your progression across the month. Basically, as I have PCOS, I use it to track my cycle so that I can see if I have ovulated or not. You can also track cervical mucus as well, which may sound a bit TMI, but cervical mucus is actually super important in also being able to read what your hormones are doing. Um, if you want more information on any of this and how to actually interpret this and know day by day what your hormones are doing, um, then I do recommend that you go and check out my Balance Your Hormones book. But um, you can also, like I said, track your symptoms um, and you can actually enter in your own symptoms as well or your own things to track. So if we go into data here, this was this morning what I recorded um, and then I haven't recorded anything else today but I did go to gym this morning so I'm gonna track movement um, and I've also found that stress is a really big root cause for me um, so I have cut out coffee but occasionally you have those days where you just get absolutely zero sleep um, or things are really stressful outside of what you can control and so sometimes I just sometimes have a coffee um, but if you have a look uh, yeah at this cycle um, I only had a coffee twice or oh, had two at the start hmm interesting um, but yeah so I track coffee um, when I remember I do also put my bedtime in there so I can see how many hours I've slept um, and obviously I can see when I woke up because I take my temperature as soon as I wake up um, you can also put like obviously your spotting and um, your flow and how heavy it is. I think a lot of people think that tracking their cycle is just about tracking um, their flow but it is so much more than that because the flow during your period during those five days um, doesn't actually really tell you what's happening the rest of the month. So it is really important to track everything else as well. Um, and then if you go into symptoms, you can track the severity of all of these symptoms. And then if you go into mood, you can track your mood and how you're feeling. And if you've seen my last video, you may also know that a huge feature for me that is a non-negotiable when you are choosing a tracking app is a notes feature. 
So here you can see that I do enter any notes of what happened that day if it's kind of out of the blue. So you can see here on 30th of July, I actually launched the ebook, which was super exciting, but it was obviously a very hectic day. Um, so I just put that note there just to kind of alert to myself why I didn't take a temperature um, because everything was just way too hectic. Um, but you can also see here how much I actually use this feature because you can see right down the bottom it says journal and it just shows you where you've actually entered in um, yeah I guess some entries um, so where you've typed something so I do use that notes feature quite a bit sometimes there's nothing to report or nothing out of the ordinary um, but yeah I definitely have started using it more and more um, because that's I think the last couple of months is when I actually remembered to put the app on the front page of uh, my phone on the home screen um, so that I remembered to track those symptoms more regularly. You can also go into the calendar mode and it will tell you when your predicted period is, which is the, the highlighted pinks and then obviously where predicted ovulation is where that is like your fertile window um, and then you can see obviously where your previous ones have been too, so where it things that you have ovulated which you can see um, this like the months where I've ovulated once that, that's good when I have ovulated multiple times that is just PCOS being not fun so July was very stressful for me um, hence why yeah then you do also have the community so in this community um, it has different people enter their details and it they either ask for advice or they say, there's a lot here that are like, do you think I've ovulated? Do you think I'm pregnant? Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool to see other people's graphs as well, because then you can see if you're doing it right or um, yeah, what other, how other people are using the app as well. Um, yeah, I just think that that's super, super interesting. If you have the premium, you can then also contribute to those conversations um, and you can also talk to people privately. So if someone has a similar graph to you, then you can message them and say, did you experience these symptoms or I don't know, um, whatever you like. But then you can also go to the more tab and you can press cycles and then it will actually tell you a list of your cycles, the start date and how long they were. So you can see here that I have successfully gotten my cycles down from 60 days thereabouts when I was originally um, diagnosed with PCOS back at the start of 2020 and then now for the last four months they've been consistent. Well, this one's gonna be good. So yeah, for about three or four months, um, they've been consistent 30-ish days, which is awesome. So if you wanna learn how to balance out your hormones as well, maybe you've been diagnosed with PCOS or endometriosis, or maybe you've just got some really annoying hormonal symptoms such as hormonal acne, then I do encourage you to go and check out my ebook, which will help you balance out your hormones and gives you everything that you need to know to be able to understand what your body is doing and to become the healthiest you. And you can also check out my video that I posted last week as well, which is how to balance your hormones, which will give you a few tips to start off with as well. So I highly recommend that you go and download the free Kindara app and start tracking your symptoms and your cycle as soon as possible, because soon enough in a couple of weeks, you will actually have more to go off and you will have an idea of what what your hormones are doing, what your body is doing, and just your overall health status and how you can improve that. So go ahead and download that app and I know that you will find it super helpful. And if you wanna make sure that you are doing everything correct right from the start to make the most of your data, then I highly encourage you to check out that ebook because it does cover everything you need to know about your hormones, including how tracking can be super easy and super helpful, how to read your graph to know what your hormones are doing and what your body needs and how to live a healthy life and balance your hormones so that you don't experience any annoying symptoms like acne and so that your cycles become regular. It really is an incredible resource for any woman with a period, be that when you are just going through puberty as a teenager or when you are in your 20s, 
30s or even your 40s, it will definitely really just help you understand what the hell is going on with your body so that you really start appreciating it rather than dreading it. On top of that, when you purchase the ebook, you will also get a bonus dairy free, gluten free, and refined sugar free recipe book. And you will also get an invitation into our very private all female Facebook community where I will be doing live Q&As and health workshops to help you on your journey. And where we also have women supporting other women, sharing their questions, sharing their graphs. You can ask questions about what's happening in your tracking, what symptoms you're experiencing, and just really feel lots of love and support from women who are going through similar struggles to you. If you want to check it out, I will leave a link to the book up here and also in the description below. And if you have any questions at all, then please do pop them into the comments and I will get back to all of you. Also, if you've decided to download Kindara and you are excited to get tracking, then do go ahead and like this video below so that other women like you can find it and also discover Kindara as well. And if you haven't already, then make sure to also come and join our community over on Instagram where I I share my own personal journey with my hormones and my health, but also share a ton of health tips all throughout the week. But that's all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video next week.